Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review of Transformers Generations Autobot Drift. Let's take a quick look at the box. You can see the instruction booklet, don't need it. Autobot Drift, Autobot. Yeah, this is not Revealed the Shield, made by Hasbro, yada, yada, yada. There he is. Very universe-like. I like this. I like Transformers Universe. Very good looking car mode. I'm going to tell you, it's really nice. Ooh, even has little little blades. I forgot about that. Here's this little, what do you call that thing? Bio. Uh, not very high in rank. That's okay. But you can yeah, you can soar his little swords over here. So it's kind of neat. Dual swords. So you got the little big humongous samurai sword and the little tiny swords for Senpaku. But Autobots don't do that. Because they don't have any internal organs. <laughs> yeah, it's a... Inside joke on Robot Chicken, so if you watch that show, rolls around really well. It's a good looking sports car. I don't know what it's was supposed to be, nor do I care. Look at the detailing on that front grille. I love the red. Uh, this would have been a so much better wheel jack, I'll tell you what, instead of the one that they did. I like the detailing on the freaking wheels, just freaking great. Paint apps is beautiful, some Japanese, and I have no idea what that is. Uh, the back over there, great paint detail. It breaks up the paint. I mean, the plain white. The molding is great. Even the have the little back. Uh, what do you call that? Rear view mirrors. Painted that back window. Clear front windows and side windows. Very tight. Very tight. Man, fantastic looking car. I'm not gonna lie. I, I really, really like this car. Under carriage junk is like really well concealed. You can see his sword, and he also hides his little two dual swords in his whatchamacallit. His I'll show you that one when we transform, but he got two little dual swords in his freaking uh passenger or passenger and driver's doors, and I'll show you that. Uh other than that, dual exhaust, molding fantastic, lights over here, back. Yeah, grill is freaking beautiful, clear plastic. Man, it's freaking awesome. Let's see. I know every time I try to do this light piping, it never works. But yeah, freaking awesome. Freaking awesome. 9 out of 10 on this freaking mode. It's just sweet, beautiful. Rolls well, looks stylish. Let's go ahead and transform this bad boy. See if I can do it without freaking killing it. All right. I know. And then one of the things is that this back piece snaps on, so it's kind of weird. So I'm going to start off with the arms. So I don't, everything pegs in nicely. And that's what I like about that. So we're just going to move the front arms over here. Yeah. The robot, first remove the humongous samurai sword. Yeah, everything kind of splits apart. These are going to be nice little scorp pieces. We're going to move that. Yeah, move his, uh, sorry, legs down. Split it up. And you got to be careful. Splits up rather nicely, so that thing goes down, that thing goes down, and everything is so well engineered. I was just surprised the level amount of freaking detail. So there we go, this is going to be the front actually. So his feet actually move up and click into place. Just freaking beautiful. Yeah, see, just like that. So he's got heel spurs and front over here, and he's looking good. I'm going to put these squirt pieces to the side oh also that I mentioned that he's got his little samurai swords neatly neatly stuck right there yeah on both passenger and side doors so yeah man looking good and we're gonna pop up this arm right here yeah just like that do the same thing for the other side they just fold accordions out I mean, the transformation is just freaking beautiful. No time did I freaking have to stumble on the pieces and everything. What a good looking freaking transformer. I'm not going to lie to you. It's really nice. Yeah, I could use more paint apps in robot mode, but the detail he has there is just freaking phenomenal. I just love his fierce head on a ball joint and has light piping. Let's see if we can get that sucker. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, fantastic. Shoulders is impeded by that huge freaking front, but hey, what can you do? So, yeah, ball jointed shoulder doesn't move out, so you got good range of motion. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, ball jointed, what do you call that, wrist, which kind of, it's more like a swivel rather than a ball joint, but it's good for the 
pose that I'm going to give them. I love that that kept the wheel, beautiful looking wheel. Autobot logo, even details in the transformation, just the attention to detail. Sure, his chest piece, his front windshield becomes a chest piece. Uh, nothing big. Let's see, does it have a waist swivel? No waist swivel. Ball jointed hip, upper thigh swivel, humongous freaking knee, single jointed. So it's a little bit of proportion. Yeah, he has a freaking humongous clown foot. Uh, you got the ankle pivot, or am yeah, ankle, which has some range of motion. Nothing here, but really on the back. So yeah, beautiful. It's a good looking figure. And I, I was hoping that the ankle, the skirt pieces would move out of the way. But if you want to make them more samurai-like, by all means, it's there. I think that was the motif. Uh, and also, he can do it with dual clutch. His sword. So yeah. And that definitely helps with the double jointed. Yeah. Man, he's just freaking fierce. I can't make him look as badass as the picture. But man, he's just looking fantastic. Look at that, man. He looks like a freaking Gundam ready for battle. Yeah. And the sword itself has some weird Cybertron looking whatever. They can fix in on that. And if it don't, oh well. You know what? I'm not going to waste my time. Let's go check the detailing on that. Beautiful. I don't know what's the deal. Can't look at the swords. If you want to go one-on-one -on -one with his butcher swords, he sure can. Yeah, you ready for battle? Looks like a badass Gundam rather than a Transformer. No doubt. Let's see if I can capture this image over here. If it don't, I don't know what's up. It just doesn't want to focus on that sword. Okay, that's okay. Bam! Freaking awesome. Size comparison with Megatron. Yeah, he's freaking awesome. 9 out of 10. I mean, I, I am just surprised at the level of quality of it. He just looks freaking fantastic. That's all I got, YouTubers, and i catch you all next time.